Today, we have a special episode lined up as we dive into the dynamic realm of video marketing. I'm thrilled to introduce our guest for today's discussion, Dave Carroll, founder of One Stop Media Kentucky. Dave brings a wealth of experience and expertise in the world of video production, and he's here to shed light on how video can transform business storytelling. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to another video. I'm Christina Stubblefield, and every week we help you unleash your business's potential, boost your visibility, and maximize your time. Together, we'll explore the power of authentic narratives today and how they forge meaningful connections with audiences. Dave will share insights into his journey, highlighting the importance of storytelling and capturing the essence of a brand's mission and vision. Whether you're a seasoned entrepreneur or just starting on your business journey, this episode is packed with valuable wisdom to help you harness the full potential of video marketing. So grab your favorite beverage, sit back, and join us as we embark on a journey into the art of crafting connections with video. Without further ado, let's welcome Dave Carroll to the show. Okay, everybody, you are in for such a treat. My good friend, Dave Carroll, is here from One Stop Media, KY. And Dave, we are gonna talk about video. Yeah. Now, wait a second. Don't go pausing or turning this off. Stay with us. You know, I a lot of times say I help people with simplified solutions. And when they start to hear video, eyes glaze over, or they know they need it for their business, but they feel like, and I'm speaking from experience of working with people, it's this daunting task. Yeah. There's a list of so many things to do. And I want, I just want to shatter that whole myth that video has to be complex. Man. Well, first of all, thank you for having me on. Uh, it's an honor and I feel like that was too gracious of an intro, even though it was very brief about the fact that I'm like, I, I'm not an expert per se, but I'm gonna be the expert today for you. Uh, well, you are an expert <laughs> and I've been very fortunate to work with Dave and can't wait to do more. And it was important to have you because I feel like video, it's a must. Mm -hmm. You know, it used to be, it was great to have, yeah. or if you were elevating your game, you would add in video. It's not the case anymore. You just can't. It, it, regardless. And interesting enough, we're recording this after Facebook and Instagram was down for a set amount of time yesterday, yep. which I saw so many posts where people were reeling. But this topic right here isn't just all about social media. Mm -hmm. You're absolutely right. So let's dive in where we can initially start. And hang tight because you're going to get to hear all about Dave and his business. So tell me what it means to you for video for a business, no matter small business, nonprofit, entrepreneur, coach, speaker, tell me what video should mean or means to you. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to have to piggyback on something that I heard you say in your conversation with some business owners, both, you know, entrepreneurs, you know, long time. Some of them were brand new in the room. Some of them had been doing it for 20 years. Uh, but you said something that has stuck with me. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because we're on this podcast together, but you said that so many people are going to social media first. And I know we're going to talk about more than just social media, but people in my generation specifically, and I'm one of those people, we will go to social media first to learn about a business. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, if that, if that social media page is just a bunch of Canva edits, which Canva's great, I love that tool. It has a place. And it has a place. But if that's all they have, or if I, have see that, if I see that they have not posted in six months to a year, especially video content, depending on what it is, I'm probably not even going to continue looking for that, you know, business or whatever to go to their website. I'm, You're not even going to consider taking the next step. Forget what the next step is. You're not even going to consider it. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. so for me, video is just so crucial and it does not matter who you are. You've got to get whatever you do in front of the camera, whether that's a service that you offer, a, a product that you sell, if it's you as a speaker or a consultant, mm -hmm. um, if you're a nonprofit and you offer a service, like people have to be able to see it and visualize it and conceptualize it to be attracted to it, to want to go with your specific service or sale, you know, to the sale of your product, right? 
Well, and it's you're important. touching on something really important. What it comes back to is your mission. Yeah. And that's one of the videos that I talk to people about is why do you do what you do? Mm. Why did you even get in the industry you're in? It's so much more than just, I have this product and it's for sale. I offer this service and here's what it does. No, it's the transformation that these things help others with. And video, it's a storytelling opportunity. It offers a different component than photos, wording, and in some cases, you're right, it starts with social media. Now, it depends on who your target audience is. Mm -hmm. It could start in, on Google. Correct, yep. Which makes Google Business Profile important, but guess what's on there as well? Video. Video. <laughs> and the other thing is, when I say to people, you know, your website is the foundation for your business. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that is that doesn't necessarily mean that's the entry point for someone to learn about your business or be introduced to your right. business. A lot of times from doing this over two decades, you know, people find someone on social media or Google or another search engine or word of mouth, and then they go out and start researching. Yeah. And that comes to your website. And that's the thing is I try to explain to people is a video is one of the best tools that is required now in your toolbox because it's also able to be repurposed. Yes. And what I do, a lot of times I talk about saving time, energy, effort, and all the other things you wanna add in. And so when I see people's expression change, when I mention a video, I immediately say, wait a second, you're talking about a piece of content that can be used across multiple platforms, including your website and search engines, but also it's social media content. It is also something that can be utilized for months and or longer. Yeah. Now, there's a caveat to that because I do think there's an importance to updating your content, but so many businesses and entrepreneurs are missing out by not having video content, whether it be through a professional or these smartphones these days. Right. The capabilities behind them are important, but I also wanna have this conversation because I believe that there's a time and place for cell phone video or video that you do on your own mm -hmm. and a place for professional video services. I would try to say that cinema, I always mess up that word, but you know what I'm thinking? Yeah. Okay. And I think it's important for people to understand that. Yeah. That yes, you should use your cell phone to capture content and do videos on a regular basis, but you should just like branding photos yeah. and headshots, you should also have professional video that help tell your story, mm -hmm. who you are, what it is you offer, what's that transformation. So I've just spit a lot at you, I know. That's okay. But let's talk about that key element there of doing it on your own and a professional. Yeah, so even just like what we were talking about with the Canva posts, right? Like I, more than even that with cell phone video is that they, they have more than a place for even just the Canva uh, edits that people do, not the Canva ed edits, but the um, Carousels, graphics. And ca yeah. the, and the templates are a great place They're to fantastic. start. fantastic, yeah. Absolutely. And, and cell phone video is in a similar boat, but even greater because there is a need for that. And it's authentic. It's authentic. It, it feels like, okay, you know, when we talk to people in the wedding industry, right, or that offer some sort of professional service, right, like it's important for their day to day, like document once or twice a week, 30 seconds, a little just B-roll clip, throw some popular music on it and let that be, you know, what something you do every week, just a good cadence to have, right? Mm -hmm. Um, now, professional video, where, where in my opinion this comes into play, and what I strive to teach my, my clients about is like, I want you when I'm not here to be taking the things that we do and talk about and thinking about how you can do that with your phone, um, but also know like, I'm here to do this for you, right? And so that's then where it comes into play where I'm gonna bring in a lot of quality. It's gonna have great audio. Like we're gonna make sure that it reaches your audience and tells your story. It's an it's an elevation. It's You're completely thousand. elevating the product. A thousand percent. The service. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so for me, like the way I always explain it is like, especially with small businesses and nonprofits and medium businesses, but you see it a lot with small businesses, entrepreneurs and nonprofits. 
The reason that the people that start them do them is because they're passionate about it and they love it, mm -hmm. right? But they don't want to do anything outside, so yes. to speak, in their mindset is, this is my business, this is what I do, this yes. is what I offer, this is what I'm honed in on. Yes, and so that's where somebody like myself can come into play and say like, I want to communicate your passion to your audience in a way that they've never seen it before and help you to reach new audiences, right? That's my goal, mm -hmm. that's my job. And so, you know, when you have a, you know, for instance, this clothing store that's uh, in my town, right? Shout out to Paige, Simply Blessed, they're amazing. She does such a good job on social media, um, mm -hmm. you know, with her phone, she does, takes fantastic pictures, but it was so cool to share her video a couple weeks ago and see people in LaGrange comment on it. I'm in LaGrange, Kentucky, to see people comment on that. Like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to visit the shop now. Because it's a whole of different story. perspective. Yeah, it's a whole different yes. perspective, the way that those videos come to life, yes. so to speak. Yeah. But there's so much to be said about that authenticity piece. Yes. And you filmed when I did a lunch and learn mm -hmm. recently, which I love doing those on a smaller scale, just that intimate part mm -hmm. of a smaller audience. And I spoke a lot about online presence. Yeah. That was the conversation. Was it wasn't really so much as speaking, it was some teaching, but it was conversation about online presence yes. and visibility. And when you take, you ha need to share out to the world your best foot forward. Yeah. Right now, and I've said it over and over again, people are making buying decision based on what they find online. Yeah, absolutely. So if we're comparing apples to apples, do you want them making a buying decision on a quick video that you shot with your cell phone? Hey, first of all, if you've at least taken that step, great. Yes, Kudos agreed. to you yes. because there's a lot of people that don't. And honestly, you really can be a step ahead of your competition just by turning on your camera. Absolutely agree with that. Or would you like people making a buying decision based on a professional video, just like headshot branding shoots that you utilize about your business? Yeah. Absolutely. And it's so crazy. I was just talking about this with one of my clients yesterday. She was um, talking about how like video is such an investment and it's a, not just an investment in the person that is doing the video, right? Like it's not just an investment in me as her, as the person that does this for her. It's an investment back into herself. And she was mm -hmm. saying that a lot of people don't realize that like they need to understand that whatever they're doing, as long as it's planned out and thought out carefully, um, that you have to determine that worth and you have to see that like, hey, look, this isn't just a, a social media one-time video that I'm gonna go live and talk about this product. Like this is something that's gonna live on the internet and I want it to live on the internet. And I want mm -hmm. it to be the reason that people buy from me that come to my place of business because it's my, like you said, it's my best foot forward, mm -hmm. right? And so for me, when I heard her say that, it was just such a great clicking moment of like, yeah, because oftentimes I'm thinking so much about people uh, making sure that I'm the right fit, but they have to also understand that this is, they have to think, are they worth it? Are they worth the investment mm -hmm. of that video for themselves? And I just thought that was so impactful because it is important to know that the people you're buying from put their best foot forward in everything they do. And at the time, everybody's best foot looks different. Like you said, yes. first step camp, you know, in front of your phone, that's that's great. Please do that. Like I tell everybody, get in front of the camera always. Invest in a twenty or thirty dollar tripod that comes with a cell phone holder. Yes. And just start just doing start it. Some, that that start is so important because you can always level up as you Absolutely. go. Absolutely, but you gotta get started somewhere. And so yes. then it's that okay, so now I've gotten started, I've got my doors open, I've got business. Like, how do I get to the next level? How do I create that product that people are gonna keep coming back to and back to and back to? Mm -hmm. And what does that look like? And who's gonna capture that for me? Um, because ultimately the other piece is not only, you know, having a camera, a good camera, all those sorts of things that come in, good audio, but it's somebody like me who wants to build that relationship and I wanna see you win. And that's what I tell people all the time. Like whether you go with me or go with somebody else or not, our conversation starts a lifetime of me wanting to see you win. And, and so that's important. And that's really important. The other thing is, and I used to talk a lot about this, is it's planting those seeds. Mm -hmm. And what we're talking about with something such an authentic professional piece is you're laying that groundwork. You're planting those seeds to be out there for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is with online presence, 
which is so much more than social media. If social media platforms were gone tomorrow, guess what? The World Wide Web still is still there. there. Yep. And I pause because I feel like you can only, there's some things that's, I always hate that saying about beating a dead horse because I don't, I don't like that saying. I'm <laughs> a very much an animal supporter. We do a lot with different animal groups and nonprofits, but I feel like sometimes I harp on this is, you know, your best foot forward. If they didn't meet you, they didn't see you, nothing. All they did was go to your website because hopefully the content that's on your website's on social media, Correct. on your Google business profile, wherever. It's almost as if a person has blinders on making a decision if they are going to consider you mm. for whatever type of business, product, service, anything. And I, I think in talking with people, professional videography and video shoots is something that big companies do. Right. And that I feel like has started to change some, but for years I've worked with a lot of different clients in a coaching aspect. I'm not the professional videographer. I'm there as my relationship with that client, knowing about their business, mm -hmm. what their bullet points are that they wanna make sure they get across, but getting them the hell out of their own head mm -hmm. and just being themselves. And I love that capacity because I know how great they are from working with them. And I want them to be able to come out of their shell yeah. Are they ever going to be really fully comfortable? Mm. But enough to where they're authentic, they're themselves talking about their business product or services. And that's why I wanted to tackle this topic is because when people start to hear about it, and it used to be the same thing with brand shoots. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I mean, you got to pick out a wardrobe, then you've got to this, this, and this, and whoa, you're already stacking things up that's yeah. going to make you think twice about it. And I think a lot of times people get in their own head about this. They don't question as much about spending ads on social media or there are still people that run ads and publications and depending on your business, that, that could be a good fit. But I also have seen people run Google ads and things like that and not even have a Google business profile. Yeah. And it's almost at what point in time are you putting the cart before the horse? And I've had those conversations with clients recently that are spending a good amount of money on ads, but their website's four or five years old, or it's not updated. It doesn't have recent pictures or recent testimonials. And unfortunately what ends up happening is you're wasting a percentage of the money that you're spending with ad dollars. Yep. When you come back to that investment piece that you mentioned, yes, it's an investment, but it's having all those tentacles, it has to do with so much more than just that video shoot. Right. There's so many different ways to use it. And that's why I just wanted, it was really important to have a conversation about that. Yeah. So now before we run, I try to keep these short and sweet, but this was an important topic. I want you to take a little bit of time and share with my audience about your business. And I know that you're based in LaGrange, Kentucky, but you have bags will travel. Yeah. I also know that. But honestly, and I even want to know, like, tell me all about One Stop Media KY. Yeah, yeah. First of all, I think that this has been such a cool interaction because it is so important to see from both ends of the spectrum, right? Like, I think oftentimes it appears that, you know, people that uh, focus on SEO and websites, like, it's like, it doesn't matter. We just got to put something out. Like, I hear mm -hmm. that a lot. It's like, there's, there's almost like this budding head, but it's like, now when they work together, it's just beautiful and magical to understand that your presence is more than just your social media, but it's also more than just your website and SEO too. They've gotta be kind of married in this space. But anyway, all that to say, so One Stop Media Kentucky, I've been doing this for about a year and a half now, total, went full-time back in October. It's been a really cool time. I operate mainly in Oldham County, Kentucky, which is just east of Louisville, but I, I do travel. I do a lot of stuff in Louisville, in Southern Indiana, Lexington, in Cincinnati. I've got, you know, kind of clients everywhere in between as well. I love telling people stories. I'm a storyteller. That's that's really what I'm passionate about. There's going to be people out there that have incredible camera work, great visual effects. They've got the whole amazing, all this cool stuff. They're they've 20 years in the business. That's awesome. But like there, in my opinion, there's nobody that 
builds relationships and connects with their clients to be able to tell their story well like I do. And that's what I love to do. I love to help tell the story of why you do what you do and how to communicate with your audience, no matter what you do. Whether you sell clothes at a boutique shop or you are selling a, a wedding service or whatever in between anything of that nature. I love doing podcasts. I love talking myself because I am passionate about what I do, just like so many of these small business owners are passionate about what they do. And so I love to help connect those dots for them and uh, make sure that their story is told on a hyper local level at a price that they can afford. That's not these massive agency prices that work with the big businesses. And not that I'm the cheapest in town either, but to make sure that I give them a great product that they can use for months. That's my goal is to give them a product or products that they can use for months and months and months. And then we reconvene and we make even more and we do more stuff. My goal is to build relationships. I don't wanna just come to your business one time. That's not my goal. <laughs> I'll do it, but like I, I would rather say, hey, I'll see you again next quarter and we'll do even more cool stuff and I'll bring this new <laughs> you know, equipment out or whatever and you'll have this product out by then, that's perfect. I'll come and shoot that. And I just, I love having my camera out and telling people stories and being able to do it and provide for my family. I have a, a wife and three children, one on the way in July. I love my family. I I get to do a lot of amazing stuff with them because of this job. I get to do a lot of stuff for my church and I'm just grateful. I, I, I try to operate with an attitude of gratitude truly to um, be able to provide a service for my client that's honestly unbeatable and not from the perspective of just price or whatever, but just that they come and they know they're gonna have a great experience with me. I'm gonna treat them with utmost respect and I'm gonna give them everything I have. And I always try to, if I say I'm gonna do something, I, I try to stick to my commitment, but I also try to say, you know, I, I snagged these pictures and I just thought, you look how joyful you were. And I just always try to get candid shots too while I'm there and just again, try to make people feel loved and welcomed and, and, and appreciated for one, partnering with me as a business, but two, just in general, because they're people and I feel called to love them and care for them. And that's how I try to go out, try to treat all my clients in that way. So you made me think of a saying I used to say a lot. Attitude is a small thing that makes a big difference. Yep. Working with you, you can immediately tell how passionate you are about what you do. And it isn't just about the work you're there to do. It's about nurturing those relationships and also being a connector yeah. for other businesses out there. And like many small businesses, you are really passionate about what you do mm -hmm. and it shows in your work. So you. I appreciate you taking the time to talk about this topic. And I'm hoping that you will do it again with me in the future. Absolutely. You know, you don't wanna just see someone once Yes. You want to see people multiple times, but also I would like to be able to share with my audience some behind the scenes because that is one thing that should have been more of a priority is consistent videos that are put out, not from a standpoint of just social videos, but that are why you do what you do. Yeah. Who are you? What do you offer? Those pillars that I call them. I think it's really important, so I'm excited to show them some behind the scenes of that, too. Absolutely. I'm excited for that, too. All right. Thank you so much. Now, you want to make sure that you follow Dave on all the social media platforms, and you will find those linked below. Thank you so much. Thank you.